It's a hot summer day, and on this suburban street, a mother parks her car, leaving a baby alone in the back seat. As people walk right next to the child, the cries from inside the car seem to go unnoticed. Two and a half month old baby left alone in a hot car. Its mother was apparently inside shopping. Almost every week, a child dies this way. But many more kids are saved, rescued by complete strangers. Police say a shopper walking past this black infinity parked in front of the baby's RS heard a child crying. We wanted to see what ordinary people would do if they saw a baby left alone in a hot car. With the help of a dozen hidden cameras, we watch for two days as people walk right next to our baby. But don't worry, even though the infant inside may look real, it's not. It's a custom-made doll called a Reborn, designed to look like a newborn baby. It even comes with its own breathing mechanism. And the mother? An actress, hired by us. As we begin our experiment, we realize right away that people don't seem to notice the infant. So we decide to give it a little help and hide a speaker in the front seat playing the sound of a baby crying. And yet, as we keep watching, we're surprised to see that even when people do hear our baby, they keep on walking. Joanne Bowman, a mother herself, hears the child but doesn't stop. So we ask her why. You just assume that someone's in the car with the child. So you didn't yeah. think about stopping or knocking on the window? No, because, telling you know, anyone? it's really something that you would imagine not happening. You don't imagine that there's a child left in the car by itself. Watching with us is Jeanette Fennell, president of Kids and Cars, a car safety advocacy group. Nobody has stopped, even with a baby crying. In the sun, a car acts much like a greenhouse. And while it's 80 degrees outside, the temperature inside our car quickly rises to almost 120 degrees. On a hot day, it could be just minutes. It could be just minutes. And we've got children who have died. Ambient temperature outside is 60 degrees. This young woman keeps looking back at our car as she walks past it. I heard a baby next to me in a car crying. And I looked over, and the baby was in the car alone. It's a hot day, why not open the door? It wasn't my car. I couldn't, I wasn't gonna touch it. I was about to call my mother and ask her what to do in that situation. We find that many people are simply not sure of what to do. But then we meet this woman. Is that anyone's car? It's got a baby, a little sleeping baby in it. A parent is nowhere to be found. You know what? I'm going to call the police. There is a car here with a sleeping baby in it. When we send our mother back in, Vicki Lefkowitz tries to be polite. She's okay, she's back, yeah. Okay. We were just calling the police. We were worried about the baby she's... being in a sealed car. But our actress pretends she's oblivious to the dangers. Oh, well, I always, I always leave her sleeping in the car. You do? That you takes me so... in the car? Well, it takes me so much time to get her to sleep, you know? Oh, my God. I... I do it all the time. You do it all the time? OK, I, I'm a mother. I would never do that in a million years. Well, I'm I not don't... judging you. I'm not judging. Just, I, just, I was worried. She walks away, shaken. You're in tears. Why? Um, I just thought this woman was leaving her baby in the car. It affected you that much? I have a baby, and I would never do that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just know it's the, obviously the wrong thing to do, and I've a baby could die in a car. Why did you get involved? How could I not get involved? And when Vincent Torres hears the baby crying, he also wastes no time responding. 911, where's your emergency? Hi, we're on um, Church Street. And like the windows are locked up. And... The police won't be coming because they are in on our experiment. But watch what happens when our actress returns. That's your baby? That's my baby. I'm sorry? I can't hear you. I should be shot. I should be shot? You said to the woman, you should be shot. 
the first thing that came out was angry. I was angry. I feel strongly about certain issues. Yeah. But what do you do? Do you break the window? Do you open the door? Well, I mean, we call the police and they yeah. can take care of it because, I mean, we're not going to damage property. <laughs> But our expert, Jeanette Fennell, says you may need to do exactly that. You're looking at the child and they're very red and they seem like they're in danger. I would take immediate action and that would be to find a brick and you would want to break the window that's furthest away from the baby. You would break I, into the car. I would, any way I could. It's a piece of metal versus a baby's life. When this man spots our baby, immediately he tries to locate the parents. Now, what idiot would do something like that? Is this your car? Soon, he's joined by this woman. We're standing out here. I mean, you don't, you look. There's a baby in a car on Church Street, uh, in, a, in a red Volvo, and it's unattended. Is there a problem? Yeah, we just called the police. Is this your kid? Yes, is she awake? No, but how do you leave a baby in the car like that? Locked and no, it's She's locked? completely fine. How do you know she's completely fine? We've been standing out here for five minutes. Anybody could have opened that car and taken that baby. I am irresponsible. Another woman joins in, and the three strangers won't let the mother off the hook. Why don't you mind your own business? I don't, I don't know I if this will. has anything to do with you. Well, of course it does. I, I'm a citizen. I see that. a baby trapped in a car. Have you not been reading the press about kids that die in trapped cars in the summer? That she's fine. I know she's fine. I'm I've done it before. Well, that, well, that's, that's very not scary. Really. That's Somebody, scary. you shouldn't have that baby. You should. That's just totally reckless. irresponsible. That is reckless. Well, God bless you, child. I hope you make it. And our actress is about to make them even angrier right, as she on. leaves the baby once again. And she just she leaves just the baby unattended. Away again. Totally unattended. Where are the cops? I don't know. But instead of the cops, we show up. How are you? I'm John Quinones, and this is part of an experiment we're doing on what you should do when you see a baby in a car like that. And That's you spoke horrible. That very That's involved. horrible. With it's not a real baby. Oh, you know? I looked closely. <laughs> Why get involved? I have two children and three grandkids, so the idea that somebody would leave a baby in a car and then just not be, not even look enough to check to see if it was okay was pretty crazy to me. Well, over here she's an actress. <laughs> she didn't mean to upset you. <laughs> but we told her to... <laughs> How did you feel? Like I could kill her, really. Yeah. It's just not part of my makeup. I, I couldn't just walk away. Here you are confronting this woman who you don't know, getting involved in something that's not part of you, really. Well, what if it had been my kid? You would do it again? If I see baby again, hell yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's a life.